I am going to give theoretical explanation about relation between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Now, polynom what is polynomial? Polynomial is fx is equal to an xn plus a n minus 1, x n minus 1, so on, a1 x plus a naught is called polynomial in polynomial in variable x of degree n where n is a positive integer a n a n minus 1 so on a 1 a naught are real numbers I am going to give an example of a polynomial for example 3x5 plus 2x4 plus x3 plus 2x2 plus 3x plus 5 is a polynomial of degree 5. Now I will tell what is quadratic polynomial. A polynomial of degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial. For example, x square minus 5x plus 2 plus 6 x square minus 5 x square minus 3x are the examples of quadratic polynomial. Now I'll explain what is general quadratic polynomial. ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 is called general quadratic polynomial. I am going to write again quadratic polynomial, general quadratic polynomial. ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0. Now I am going to explain why we write a is not equal to 0. If a is equal to 0, then fx becomes 0 x square plus bx plus c fx is equal to bx plus c which is linear polynomial which is linear polynomial that means if a is 0 then quadratic becomes linear let alpha and beta be the zeros of general quadratic polynomial. Now these two are the zeros then x minus alpha x minus beta are the factors of of this polynomial. So fx is equal to fx can be written as k x minus alpha x minus beta. Now I am going to explain why this k is mentioned here. I am going to write one note here. That note is if we multiply or divide any polynomial by any arbitrary constant then the zeros of the polynomial don't change. 
I'll explain this with the help of example. First example, x square minus 7x plus 12. If I factorize this polynomial, quadratic polynomial, as x minus 3 and x minus 4, the zeros will be 3 and 4. If I multiply this polynomial by 2 and its factors will be x minus 3, x minus 4 and zeros will be 3 and 4. If I divide this polynomial by 5 and if I factorize this, I will get 1 by 5 x minus 3 x minus 4 and its zeros will be again 3 and 4. So in first case k is 1, in second case k is 2, in third case k is 1 by 5. So we see if we multiply or divide any polynomial by any constant, zeros don't change. So generally we will write ax square plus bx plus c is equal to k x minus alpha x minus beta. Now I am going to explain the relation between the zeros and the coefficient. Now ax square plus bx plus c is equal to k x minus alpha x minus beta. So multiply these two factors k x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. k x square minus k alpha plus beta x plus k alpha beta. Now I am going to compare the coefficients. Compare the coefficients. I will explain how we will compare it. A is a coefficient of x square in left hand side and k is a coefficient of x square in right hand side. So A is equal to k. B is equal to B is a coefficient of x and here minus k alpha plus beta is a coefficient of x. So both will be equal. So B is equal to minus k alpha plus beta. Here C is a constant term on left hand side and k alpha beta is a constant term on right hand side. So C is equal to k alpha beta. So here alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by k. So instead of k we will write a. So minus b by a is equal to alpha plus beta. So this is a relationship between zeros and the coefficients and c upon k is equal to alpha beta. c upon a is equal to alpha beta. So sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a and product of zeros is equal to c by a. It means I have alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a, alpha beta is equal to c by a. These are the relations between the zeros and the coefficients. Now I will explain how to write a quadratic polynomial if some of the zeros are given to you and product of the zeros are given to you. Again you will write ax square plus bx plus c is equal to k x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. And uh, it means ki fx is equal to k x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. So whenever sum of the zeros are given to you, product of the zeros are given to you, you just substitute the values, you will get a quadratic polynomial.